Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix certain websites won't load issue. One of the issues that you might experience with your computer is when you are trying to access a website only to find out that it won't load. It can be a frustrating experience when you've double checked the website's domain name and still find yourself wondering what went wrong. But not to worry, we've got you covered. In this video, let us go through troubleshooting solutions that you can do to fix this issue. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, restart your computer. Rebooting your computer is a fast and straightforward solution that can resolve numerous technical difficulties, such as website loading issues. By restarting your computer, you can eliminate these issues, providing a clean slate and enabling it to function at its best. To do this, click Start or Windows button, then click the Power button. Select Restart from the options. Once your computer is ready, open a web browser, then try accessing the web page again. Second solution, use another different browser. It is possible that the web browser you're using is having issues. To fix this, try using a different browser to open a website. However, if after using another browser and you are able to open the website, it is likely possible that the previous browser is having an issue. If that's the case, try resetting or reinstalling the browser. Third solution, check your internet connection. An unstable or unreliable internet connection can also result to certain website or websites loading slowly or not loading at all. Checking internet connection involves both checking modem and router and also checking your network speed. To check network speed, open web browser and then type either speedtest.net or fast.com. If the website loads up, press either the go or the start button to begin the test. Wait for the network test to complete. After the test, it will display both your download and upload speed and your ping time. Make sure the result is consistent with the speed that your ISP or internet service provider is offering to ensure that you are getting the correct speed that you are paying the ISP for. Fourth solution, use an alternate DNS server. There are instances when a DNS server can prevent users from accessing certain websites. To check if this is the culprit, try using an alternate DNS server. At the search bar located at the lower left, type control panel and press enter. Make sure view by category is set to either large or small icons. Click network and sharing center. Click change adapter settings at left pane. Right click on your Wi-Fi network and click properties from the drop down menu. Double click on internet protocol version 4 TC PIPv4 at internet protocol. Version 4 properties window, select the option. Use the following DNS server addresses. IP addresses of the DNS server you want to use. For example, for Google public DNS changed, prefer DNS server to 8.8.8.8. And for alternate DNS server, type 8.8.4.4. Click OK to confirm and to exit. Fifth solution, make sure website you are trying to open is not down. Sometimes you can't access certain sites because of a problem on their end, such as when their server is down. There are third-party websites that can be used to check if there will be issues on the website. Sixth solution, disable security software temporarily. Another factor that can prevent certain websites to load properly is your antivirus software. Try to temporarily disable the firewall and antivirus software of your computer, then check if the issue still occurs. To do this, press Windows or Start button. Click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear, then click Update and Security. Click Windows Security at left pane, then click Virus and Threat Protection at New Window under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click Manage Settings, toggle off. Real-time protection, exit window, security window, and then check if you can now load certain websites, and that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.